Racing returning to the Circuit of the Americas this weekend. A full slate of action beginning tomorrow. Chris Tavares is trackside at Coda with more. Chris? Hey, Brent. Yeah, Brand, Grand Am Racing taking over the Circuit of the Americas, and this race actually opens up the 2013 season for Coda, and that season's going to culminate with the F1 Grand Prix in November. Now, there are actually going to be five different races going on tomorrow at the, ra at the racetrack. There's a Pro Mazda Championship race, and then there's the Grand Am Road Race. There are two different series within the Grand Am. There's the Rolex Sports Car Series and the Continental Tire Series. Now, they're two completely different races, but within each of those two series there are two divisions so there are four separate winners in Grand Am racing now those two divisions are made up of two different types of cars so that makes for an even more difficult race it is a challenge having different classes out there with you know different speeds in different areas and in our cars the Mazda Miatas are very nimble so through the fast sweeping S's we're quickest even quicker than the the faster class so when we're racing together you know it takes a lot of uh, you know heads up driving from everyone to give each other room and to give each other respect it's a balancing act and we all have to pay real close attention now, even though both divisions are on the track at the same time during qualifying, they race completely separately. And one of the winners of tomorrow's pole position for the Continental Tire Series, none other than Austin Knight, Jason Saney.